I'm Bad Snacks, and today I have Noah Kelman. That's me. And today we're going to be listening to a lot of music that Noah has maybe heard of, but probably not because some of these are some deep cuts. And because he claims to be so good at transcribing things and at jazz theory in general, I guess music theory in general, we're going to be looking into some of these tunes and seeing how fast he can transcribe them. Also, I disagree with everything she just said. <laughs> Today, we thought it would be really fun to uh, have him transcribe some deep cuts on the fly. So basically, what's going to happen here is I have a bunch of tracks lined up that are like tracks that I consider to have like juicy moments, but like as somebody who doesn't have a super, super strong grasp on music theory, I've always wanted to know what is going on in these tracks. So Noah is going to Trans do my best. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, and we're gonna time him uh, to see how fast he can do this. Forgot about that part. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bunch of tracks here. Um, some are some like super deep cuts from like 70s, 80s. Some are more recent hits. Um, I might even have you try to transcribe one of my tracks because I don't know what I did. And we're gonna learn some music theory. Um, this one is a classic. This one is Donny Hathaway's Someday We'll All Be Free. I'm gonna play it through for context. We shouldn't be timing that part, so maybe maybe just don't play. Okay, just all right. Just hands off the keyboard Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> until you're being timed, okay? Cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> Un unreal track. Unreal, unreal. Track. That is ridiculous because the level of musicality with all that complexity, Yeah. it's amazing to hear all of that together and just to have it feel so completely like necessary. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Timer's on. Ready? Go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so. Ooh. Uh, I think it's something like that, yeah. So. So E flat minor to B flat minor, F minor to C minor, and then I forget exactly what this next chord is, but then we end up back at A flat minor, which is kind of where we started. Okay, do you want me to play it back or something? Yeah, let's, let's do it one more time. Okay. I feel like I didn't get it yet. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that was like only like a minute. Sick. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Hold on, can you run that, play that back? Yeah, what, yeah, what absolutely. Did you do? This one little tricky part is E flat minor nine to F or B flat seven, B flat minor seven. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, E flat minor, B flat minor, F minor to G minor, E flat minor to A flat minor. So it's like, this. we're basically doing like E flat minor, and then we go down a fourth. Yeah. And then the pattern is we just take that whole thing and move it up yeah. a whole step. Sure. And then, and it gets us back to A flat minor. Cool. I can't believe how fast you got that. <laughs> I'll say one Other thing. more one thing. <laughs> um, Oftentimes students, I think, can get discouraged when uh -huh. they hear someone able to do this very easily. Sure. So first of all, I want to state to everybody, I do not have perfect pitch, mm. nothing even close to it, right? My pitch is 100% relative pitch. That's why I've been secretly kind of hitting little, little yeah, notes yeah. like that to check where I am, right? Yeah, yeah. The other thing is that as a piano player, I have played literally all the shapes of yeah. the voicings that mm. are being played in these recordings, mm -hmm. like maybe thousands of times. Right. So I just think of ear training like memorizing flashcards, but with sound. 
If anybody wants an app, I'm not affiliated with them in any way other than I just love using it. It's called mm. Goodyear Pro. Mm -hmm. It's, I think, like $4 on the App Store. I don't know if it's on Android also, but even though like the interface is a little dated, I just find it so easy to use for all of this type of ear training. Mm. I know it sounds like a lot, but like a year of like barely any daily time and your ears will just like explode open. That sounds know? painful. <laughs> no, no. This like, is in terrifying. A, in a good way. They'll explode okay, open. Great. In, in a, a good, good way. way. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, this is a boys to men deep cut classic. I love this track. Are you ready? I'm ready. I love this song. <laughs> Stop it there. <laughs> um, the chorus is mostly voices. Okay. Yeah. So this might be where it starts to get a little bit kind of. This like... is already sounding trickier to me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. All right. You ready? So I'm, I'm ready. gonna hit the start button and then I'm gonna just play it from the pre. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Here we go. This will be my night. I'm a Amazing. <laughs> then just keep running it? Yeah, you can run it again for okay. sure. I don't think I got it yet. Okay. This will be my night. I'm a bit of What's left of my mind? Let the rhythm take the oh, no. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> really fun. <laughs> that one you also got like in like a minute 10. Yes. I think the really juicy thing that's happening is we're kind of in like B minor. Yeah. But then we're doing this two five to G major yeah. in there. Um, so we're kind of going, you know, we're hovering around E minor. There's actually leading into that section, there's a D flat half diminished nine, which we talked about in another song, that half diminished nine chord. Yeah. But so if we kind of look at this, we're like, all right, B minor is our key center. So even this, that would just be two, five, one in mm. B minor, right? And that's in jazz, we call that a minor two, five, one. Mm -hmm. um, because mainly because it lands on a minor chord instead mm -hmm. of a major. And in a minor two, five, one, we typically have the half diminished sound on the two. So like a dominant sound on the five, although sometimes it's got like a that sound, which we call altered. It's got that sharp nine mm -hmm. um, and land on the B minor. And then this is where I said we do a two five to G. So in a way, I'm kind of like throwing away the whole like, oh, it's B minor. And now I'm saying, well, if we're going to land on G major, well, we're going to do two of G, which is A minor to five D seven to G major, mm. right? And this, I think it's kind of like a G major nine sound. So we have that mm. A in there. And then kind of E minor nine, and then back to like the five of B minor to get us back. So that's more or less what's happening. I don't know if I did it like perfectly, but. I was about to say, that's like, that's like a lot to memorize <laughs> in like a minute. So this one is one that I've been very excited to show you. This is one of the doozy tracks. This okay. is Jane Child's Don't Want to Fall in Love. It's a banging track from like 1988, sorry, 1989, um, made by an, an eccentric Canadian woman. All right, oh, I'm so excited. I'm in trouble. 
All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get the baseline first. Okay. That's my first move. All right, I'm gonna time um, you. Okay, we ready? Let's do it. All right, All right. Here first, go. I'm gonna just see if I can get the bass notes. Okay, so F sharp major is where we start. So, so da, da, F minor nine. I think we're just doing like. I think that's. Yeah, okay, so that's our bass line, so. So what's our voicing craziness in there? Alright, let's see. I think we're getting like an F over E flat there. Wow. Yeah. Is, now the question is, is it just the bass line or are there other voicings in there? Yeah, so I think that's kind of like where we land. So we go. So we get like the bass line. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> there's, there's also a top line. Okay. Oh, okay. You want me to get this then? Because the synth is right under the voice. Does that sound like the top line of the synth? I think I think it's literally. I think you're still missing the. Um, the da, 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 da. Well, so yeah, we have that the on the voice. So, um, but so what's interesting here is that we have this kind of like it's like a F7 over E flat, but we get this A but flat on I, top. I think I think the A flat. I think it's an A natural. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Of course I'm right. <laughs> that makes way more sense. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Basically. Wow. I was like, I was close for a while. Yeah. Just wasn't quite getting Two the melody. Two minutes thirty-two there. seconds. That's that's pretty good. That's I knew this one was gonna trip you. <laughs> yeah, you got me there. <laughs> that's pretty good though. I think the interesting chord is like the third one. So we have this. This is a nice moment because we're really kind of like, in a way. I guess not reharmonizing because this is the song, but like <laughs> we're kind of taking this melody and we're like, how do we make this interesting? Because you could have just done, you could have just like done any I mean, three awesome chords or whatever, but so we kind of like, I like that the chords kind of move with the bass line. Yeah. You know, and this, this, sorry, this one. It's just like, I did not see that yeah, coming, you right? know? And it's such an interesting chord. It's basically like this uh, F, yeah. F7 over E flat. It almost sounds like a classical decision. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. Um, and what's so interesting about that, I love, I love when music does this, we use like inversions instead. So these are root position chords, F sharp, major, mm. in the bottom, F minor 9, right? But now we actually have F7 over E flat. So that would be like like inversions of seventh chords. This is like classical, right? One, here's root, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion. So this is like a third inversion chord right here. And we get back to like the B flat minor nine. Yeah. Super fun. Okay, I'm gonna mix it up here. Um, this one is the one, it's just a lick. It's just the, it's just a just lick. Just a lick, all right. So this is actually from one of, <laughs> this one is called Rush. This is from the uh, OST of Cowboy Bebop. Okay, which cool. Which is one of my favorite animes of all time. I think this track is actually super slept on. Usually people think of Tank when they think of Cowboy mm -hmm. Bebop, which is like the opening theme. Anyway, I love this track and I just, I just think the first lick is fun. Let's do it. It had to be like five saxophones <laughs> at the same time. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to grab the timer. <laughs> I need to decide which the, one the, I'm going to hear. The first one is G. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. All right, I'm pretty sure I got this right. Something like that. So close. <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm. At the middle part, I'm not sure I'm getting. I think it's. Yeah. I think that's going to be my final answer. That seems close enough for now. That's fucked up. That was only three minutes. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. And you did that at full speed. Yeah, normally I would definitely like slow it down and it would be like 10 times easier for sure. And I think also when you have all these different instruments with a very similar timbre playing yeah. at the same time. That's definitely tricky. That said, like, I know there are people who could probably do that in one try, you know, especially people who can just like listen into an arrangement. But again, I think that all comes down to practice, right? Like I'm not used to transcribing an arrangement of saxophones that often. It's just not something I do. Mm. Whereas I have some friends who are arrangers and they probably sit down and do this all the time to learn mm -hmm. about arranging, mm -hmm. or they are really used to the sound of those saxophones together. So like at the end of the day, all this ear training stuff, it's just familiarity, you yeah. know? That's all it really is. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no way, there's no way. Like I, I, like, I, I learned this, because like, the whole track is actually really, really fun. So I learned this on violin like way back in the day, and that like took me forever. It's so hard. So this is this is a newer track. This one is I I wanna be, um, and I did like a super spacey bridge on this, and um, I don't know what I did. Mm. <laughs> so. Did you play all that on violin? Uh, no, so it's synth chords and okay. then violin layers. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. But it's right. really cool. There's some, um, I think there's a spot where the melody creates like a straight clash that's really interesting. Oh, okay. And it kind of creates this interesting chord that I really like. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna time you. All okay. Right. Cool. Cool. You think you got it? I think I mostly got it. Um, the chord that's really interesting. So we kind of start in like B major. Mm -hmm. 
but um, then the melody creates this, we keep getting this C. So we're actually getting like a flat this nine. Be, that should be down a half step. The bass line? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the second chord. Can you, can you play one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so I see what you're saying. Yeah. But it still hits during the B major. So oh. we, uh... Oh, yeah, oh, that's and you're, what, oh, again, I see what you're It's like saying. this tension. Oh. oh. So that's a flat nine oh. on, like, the B major chord. Okay. So you might actually call that, like, A flat major over B. That might be, like, the way to, to call that, you know? Yeah. But then we have that, you know, we have this, uh... Yeah. D flat, let's see, what is it? Yeah, like my app, can't even, look at it. It has no <laughs> idea what to even call it. <laughs> um, That's really funny. But like, I would probably just call it, you know, A flat over B yeah. for simplicity's sake. Um, but what's cool about it is you go. Yeah. And then that melody note that's like tense releases, same note, but then it works with the B flat minor nine. Or whatever the yeah. melody is. I think, I think it did like, uh, this was one spot where I was kind of confused, but it was yeah. almost like, it, it wasn't that, it wasn't this like really simple yeah. F7 chord, but I think we went to F. I almost wonder if there was like a third, flat third and a major third. Let's check uh. that spot. Yeah, yeah, I think, I, I want to say, I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say we're getting like this sound, which is, the clash of a minor third and a major third. Sick. Which I think I think is very cool. And then also, one other thing I'll throw at you that you did there was when the melody hits the F, we got that sharp 11 again. <laughs> of course. You get wow. that nice Lydian B major sound. That's so interesting. Like, it's like just very interesting to hear somebody else like be like, so here's what you did. <laughs> and I'm just over here being like, Oh. <laughs> oh, is that what that was? Oh, is that oh. what that is? That's really interesting. I think it's awesome. Yeah, and clearly you you love those sharp 11s. I love sharp 11s. <laughs> that's today's big discovery. That's what we've learned, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I think that's probably a good place to stop. Yeah, uh, I'm sufficiently tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, that took you a minute 27. Okay, not to bad. Get, to get I'll the idea it. of. I, wonder, I, I can't remember which one took you the longest. Probably, I want to say Rush. Yeah. That one probably took you the longest. Yeah, I think so. But that was that was pretty good. But also the one before that took a while with the yeah with all the um, stacked the James, thirds the and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, good job. I still I have plenty more where that came from. Awesome. <laughs> we can just keep doing it. If you want to follow Noah, you can check him out at Noah Kelman on YouTube and on Instagram, all the socials. And uh, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for him. He needs and it. And for her, <laughs> of course. Your face is not in that <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> That's fine. So if you had like 349 jazz YouTube videos, go follow Noah, Noah Kelman on YouTube and Instagram, Got not you Twitter. Covered. That last track is a brand new track called I, I Wanna Be. It's coming soon. Um, yeah, new single, go check it out. Okay. All right, we did it. Woo! <laughs> you're just, you're just done.